guys today's video the minor muscle groups and each exercise that's the best for each muscle group so let's start from the top to the bottom so the first one is the neck many people don't train the neck because you don't have to like if you do heavy deadlifts or anything like that you don't need any specific neck neck training except if you're like an athlete like a boxer where you need your neck to be really strong and muscular otherwise you don't have to train neck separately but the best exercise is using the neck harness which is basically a thing that you strap on your head it has a chain you add a weight and you do neck raises from the from the front and then from the back laying on a bench that's the best one for your neck but you have to be really careful because you can very easily injure your neck so perfect your form with lighter weight and then you can add more weight as you progress next are the shoulders the best exercise for the shoulders to you know target every head every part of the shoulder is basically the overhead press or more popularly called the military press you can do it standing or sitting down. The best version is the standing one because it targets your whole body, targets your core, targets your abdominals. So it's a great whole body exercise, but the best exercise for your shoulders, overhead press with a barbell, or you could do it with a dumbbell. Moving down, we have the biceps and the triceps. So the biceps, the best exercise is the standard bicep curl. You can do it with a barbell or two dumbbells, doesn't matter. Then we move on to the tricep. The best tricep exercise is the dip. You know, dips, you can do them on two chairs, you can do them on parallel bars, you can do them on gymnastic rings, you know, you can add weight like a backpack or a chain. Dips are an amazing exercise for the tricep. They because dips they target all three heads of the tricep and they also target the chest. So dips hands down. Next are the forearms. You know the forearms like if you're not a bodybuilder or your forearms are not a lagging muscle group, like they're really tiny, then you don't need to target these muscles because you work them with big body compound movements like if you're using heavy weights most likely you are also working the forearms because you have to hold the weight so forearms but if you want to train them separately the best one is basically wrist curls so you basically have a barbell or dumbbells you have to use light weight and you basically curl up your wrist so wrist curls and then you do another set from the back so basically that works the forearms the whole forearm portion and now we move on down so we covered the chest we covered the back and the major muscle groups and we covered the abdominals we covered the legs and then the last part is the calves so the calves many people neglect calves and because you use your calves every single day they are most likely a stubborn muscle group and a lagging muscle group for most people so they have to do a lot of volume for calves so the best one is basically calf raises hands down calf raises you can do them with dumbbells or with a barbell it doesn't matter which one you choose but you have to use heavy weights and you have to do a lot of volume for most people, a lot of volume is going to work, which means a lot of reps, a lot of sets with heavy weights, you know, so a lot of volume. And that basically covers it for the minor muscle groups and the major muscle groups. You know, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Definitely like, leave a comment and subscribe. Peace out.